Hi Virgos, how's everybody going today? This your girl Anna with Fly Nola Queens back with another one. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to my new subscribers. Welcome to my day ones. Welcome to my loyal people that come out and show out for your girl. Y'all just make me so happy. Y'all support is surreal. I sure appreciate y'all. Like y'all get me closer and closer every day, and I am so grateful. Look, I love y'all. Thank y'all so very much. You know, my attitude is gratitude. Let's go ahead and get into this gratitude. Look, let's see what spirit have to tell us when it comes to gratitude. Spirit guys, ancestors, we just thank you, thank you, thank you for giving us an opportunity once again to just be grateful, to just be thankful, to allow abundance in. peace to flow in our life like I'm here and pay for peace somebody may be like in a lot of conflict right now a lot of turmoil you'll pay for peace we just thank you for the peace that surpasses all understanding we just thank you for giving us the opportunity to recognize to desire things that no longer serves us to open and extend ourselves to the opportunities that were meant for us. We just thank you for the wisdom, the guidance. We thank you for all of the support that you're sending our way. We thank you for constantly opening doors for us. We thank you for the changes that we weren't expecting. We thank you for the direction. Ashe, Ashe, Ashe. Let's go ahead and get it. Spirit guys, answer the show, Virgo, what we need to see. Any placement in the chart, any cross watcher that resonate, show us what we need to see, Spirit. We got two. It says, thank you is the best prayer that anyone could say. Today, find a way to thank someone who has been there for you when you most needed it. Those are people there that come through when you need them. It says, praise, flow, and change. Night and the pulse of day. When you walk through your home today, thank each and every corner of the space for all excitement, witnessing of who you are. You ever notice when a house is condemned, even if the house is in bad shape, you know, if somebody living in that house, that house will still have light. As soon as the people move out, the house is like it died. So in other words, this card is saying that, that your house holds your energy. Be grateful for it. Create peace in your home. That's your sanctuary. That's a place for refuge for you. The next one is, we shall not cease from exploration and the end of all our exploring will be to arrive where we started and know the place for the first time. Reflect on all the homes you've ever had, good or bad, cherished or abandoned. They are the hands that have held you as you made your way. You may be reflecting now, like where you come from. You know, I'm always deep and better than New Orleans. Like, I could go anywhere. And I open my mouth and people be like, girl, where you from? Texas. No, nah, no, you're not. <laughs> where you from? Why you ask me that? If you hear, why you ask me? I'm kidding. I'd be like, yeah, I'm from New Orleans. Well, all right, I knew I heard that accent. Girl, that's the accent. You gonna, it's distinguished. You're going to hear it. They love to hear me talk. So just reflect on that. Like, you know, wherever you live, you know, you had some experiences there. Some good, some not so good, you know. Some not so happy feelings, happy thoughts. But all these things have allowed you to become a person who you are. I wish I can go back to our childhood house when we go down Andrew Street. Look, it's just a lot. It bothered me for the first couple of years that my childhood house wasn't there. Like, we lived there forever. Like, but now when you accept it, that you, those memories are always going to live with you. Like I said, some beautiful, beautiful memories, some not so pleasant. But in all of it, look, you can't take it away from my mind. It's still there, like yesterday. So, Spirit is saying, reflect on all these things. 
time to take a trip back down memory lane. So we're going to pull up today, y'all, from the Oracle of the Mermaids, if that's all right with y'all. We had, you know, this is one of my favorite decks. If y'all haven't seen the cover of the box, that's what it looked like. You know, I love the water, so I used to um, use these just about every night. But then, you know, we got so many decks now. You're trying to just pick and choose. Spirit guys, ancestors, show Virgo in the places in the chart. And the cross watch that resonate. Show us what we need to see, Spirit. Two. All right. So 27 may be very significant or the number nine. It says adrift, letting go, allowing a higher force to take charge for a time. Spirit said release something. Release the outcome came out yesterday. Today, spirit is saying just allow the current to take you. It's going to take you where you need to go. Allow this change to happen. Like when I first started the reading, I was hearing, you know, turmoil. Like somebody have a, a, a house that is chaotic. You may be, this is for somebody in particular, trying to hold on to a situation and it needs to be released. Let it go. Spirit going to take care of you, I guarantee you. Obedience is better than sacrifice. If all the signs is there, it's time to go. Anyway, uh, let's go ahead and get into the next one. It says receptivity. Number three, allow yourself to receive. Allow yourself to give. So this is that yin and that yang energy. You know, I've learned a valuable lesson in life. I don't overgive no more. If you give me peace, I'm going to give you peace. If you give me conflict, I'm going to distance myself. Um, so don't overgive. As a Virgo, I know, like, we definitely problem solvers. And we always looking for a good project to take on. That ain't your job. <laughs> the next one is sanctuary. Privacy, inviolate his personal space, respected boundaries, and taboos. I was just talking about the house. Thank you, Spirit. So 82. I'm sorry, 28 may be very significant, or the number 10. 10 is about new beginning. Spirit is said for this new beginning, you need to have some healthy boundaries in your personal space. It's all about that house. Whatever's going on in that house, the theme of this reading is dealing with where you lay your head. Is it peaceful or is it chaotic? If it's chaotic, it's hindering you from moving on. Um, yeah. It's hindering you from moving on. It's it's like this next level that you're going to, everybody can't go. It's a series of unfortunate events. I mean, and some people may feel like they got left behind, but your life purpose is going to depend on this. You know, you don't want, like I said, look up. When I looked up and all my 20s was gone and all my 30s was gone, I was like, man, wait, hold up. <laughs> Stay, what's going on? No. I can't give away all my 40s and my 50s and then in my 60s, I'd be looking back like, man, what happened? No. I'm retiring by by the time I'm 50. That's the plan. So... If you don't have a plan, it's time to get one. And if you don't have peace, it's time to pay for it. And whichever way you got to, if it's releasing somebody, release them. If it's uh, put help, setting healthy boundaries with the people that you live with, that you coexist with, man, ain't nothing like having a peaceful, clean home. It feels so good. I'm a homebody. So when my house is clean, like all the clothes is folded and tucked away, put in the drawers, and I walk through that place and it feels airy and everything is in order. Like, man, I feel good all over. I'm just the happiest person in the world. So at this time, I mean, it's very important for you to create a healthy home life. 
your home is not healthy and it's chaotic, it's time to get some healthy boundaries there. So go ahead and set the tone. That thermostat got to be adjusted. If it's too hot, yeah, you need to go ahead and, and get it a little cool. Now, however that look. However that look. So we're going to go ahead and pull from the Kipper deck and see what Spirit have to tell us. Spirit guides, ancestors show Virgo, any placement in the chart, any cross any cross watch that resonate, what we need to see, Spirit. What messages do you have for us today? So we got house. Look. <laughs> I'm telling you, it's the house. 20. Man, it's something going on with this house. Spirit, what's going on with this house? Show us what we need to see. There's a privileged lady. So 20 may be significant, 12 may be significant. Then you got seven, message. And you got pathway. Okay. I'm getting the picture. Spirit, I'm getting what you're putting down. Let's see what else we get. There's an official person here. Some concerns. A message of concern. Okay, yeah. This concern in the house. Some laws may be involved. It's a, a, a man and a woman that's involved. They, they got the official person here, so they may got the people involved. Spirit say, um, if you're experiencing some kind of turmoil in your home life, don't worry, because there's going to be a detour. There's going to be a pathway that you can you can lead through. But here's the privileged lady. Here's the message of concern. You may have to evict somebody. You may have somebody living with you that's creating havoc in your home. You may have to call the people to go ahead and get these people removed. Or you may say, or these people may call the people on you to have you removed. However it happens. If there's no peace there, it's time to shake your feet and go. Dust your feet, bye. It's nothing like living in turmoil. That's man, that's so hard on your body. You lose years. You age fast. And guess what? It's a means to no end. It's never ending. Whatever you feed grow. So if you feed in chaos and havoc. That's what you multiply. Starve it. So there's an official person here. The laws may be involved. Number 22. 22 and 33 back to back. There's a concern here. Then you got the message of concern here. Number 14. What's going on with this situation, Spirit? What's going on? I know we got one that's turned over. What's this? Community, it's something about a family. It's something about a family. I don't know. I'm picking up an unsettled home, like conflict. I've been there. That ain't no fun. Walking on eggshells, man, like tolerating people. I never live like that again. Never. There's some marriage here. This may be somebody that you're married to, Virgo. Number three may be very significant. Number 14, number 39, or number 12. There's the courthouse. Something going on with the laws here. I'm looking at this two ways. There may be in a, a situation where it was a family, some conflict. Somebody sent some anonymous information. You got some people involved. The people showed up at your door. Like, you may have to go to court. This may be a divorce here. Number 23 is very significant. Or, this could be a message of concern where you're getting married. But we're going to clarify. What else we got going on, Spirit? We're going to clarify. Just give me a few seconds. I'm going to get two more from the Kipper. Then we're going to hop into the terror and see what's going on. There's a child here. It could be a custody battle. Number 18 is very significant. It could be a child that's not getting support. Then you got, I ain't going to take them. That's too many. Give us one more, Spirit. We just need one more. A thief. Right after the child. So somebody may be like not helping or assisting. 
to all my single parents out there, like, man, hats off to you. Sending you all the healing energy, love and light. I know it ain't easy, but it's so worth it because them babies not going to be small always, I guarantee you. They're going to get bigger. It ain't going to be like that always. So if you're not receiving the support from the co-parent, don't worry. Just keep moving forward. It's going to work out. Don't even stress. That's why that pathway was there. It's time to look at things from a different perspective. But we're going to clarify, see what's going on. Here, guys, answer us to show Virgo what we need to see. Any placement in the chart? Any cross watcher that resonates? Show us what we need to see, Spirit. You know, when I first started reading tarot, I was a bit apprehensive about it. Because, you know, you see in the movies and, you know, you hear so much about it and you just like, man. Then I got into it and I started learning the meanings of the cards and reading them intuitively. Like, man, this is like one of my favorite things to do. If not the one of the favorite things. The top thing that I love to do. I love it. So I appreciate y'all, man, for showing up. For supporting me. It means the world to me. We're on our march to a thousand. Look, we almost there. Y'all make my heart so happy. I appreciate y'all. Let's see what Spirit have to tell us. Spirit guys, answer to show Virgo what we need to see, Spirit. Any placement in the chart? Any cross watcher that resonate? Whatever this is, Virgo, I keep on seeing the two of swords every time I cut the deck. A choice needs to be made. Then I cut the deck again. And I saw the devil. Toxic energy concerning an abusive relationship. Like, whatever this is, I just saw the fool, man. Have courage to walk away. I saw the strength card and the six of wands. You're going to have a victory. Your intuition is, is really activated at this time. You got an emperor here. You protect it, so don't worry. Even if things don't work out for you the way you plan, just know that it still worked out for the best. Because somebody is very controlled and very manipulative. Somebody, somebody got like complex where they want to be in control of everything what's going on with you sonny boy hey baby you can't you see sissy what's going on you want to say hi come on you can say hi all right y'all my baby want to say hi say hi buddy say hi you want to say hi He's so pretty, y'all. Uh, he's so sweet. That's my little bodyguard. Let's go ahead and hop in. Nine, nine may be very significant. Spirit guys, ancestors, so Virgo, what we need to see. The emperor here in the first position. I love that. That means you're being protected. Show us what we need to see concerning the situation. Virgo, any placement in the chart? Any cross watcher that resonates? Show us what we need to see. You being protected. So whatever this is, if you're going through a, through a custody battle, if you're trying to evict somebody, somebody that called the laws on you, trying to put a charge on you, you protected. Don't worry. See, this person wants power. This person is like somebody that really thinks they're going to always have it their way. This is a very manipulative person. Very manipulative person. Number two may be very significant. Number four. What else you have for us, Spirit? So, with the Emperor here, it could be an Aries. Whatever this situation is, this person is going to come to a sudden ruin. With the Ten of Swords here, it's going to come to a screeching halt. Your Spirit God's ancestors is going to put a stop to this situation. Whatever this is, whatever this plan, plot, whatever it is. Look at the Ace of Cups. Overflow and abundance. Just flow. Like, prosperity. 
Then you got the chariot. Whatever this is, you're moving away from it. You're going to come out on top. Look, they're still watching. Man. What else you have for us, Spirit? to release these people you may love them you may really feel like you know that these people are going to change but constantly if people keep on showing you the same thing how many chances do you get you'll look up in 10 years we done went by 20 years 30 years unhappy mm -mm. like once you get the people involved once you escalate the situation to a point of no return like it's not my job to try to reconcile I'm going to wash my hands and move around. What else you have for us, sir? Yeah. See, now this person can't sleep. Whatever they did to you, whatever Virgo this is for, whatever these people did to you, it's causing these people nightmares. See when that guilt come in? That shame? Boy, I look. They be running from it. They can't handle no pressure. There you go with the Queen of Pentacles. See, you building new worlds. Outside of whatever this is going on, you still focus, creating newness, creating balance in your own life. Like, that's your desire. This person may be planning with three other people to try to take something from you, but you decided to bet on yourself and take this leap of faith towards your newness, whatever that looked like for you. Whether that means relocating, whether that means... Um, abandoning this connection whatever it is whatever that means whatever that looks like for you you may decide to just block this person and move around but there's a choice and a decision that needs to be made um nine may be very significant eight uh seven may be very significant two may be very significant so there's the king and the queen of pentacles here so because it's in between the the fool boy look at here that's double Virgo, double Capricorn, double Taurus, or a mixture of the two. It's definitely some soulmate energy here. You're moving on with this Ace of Cups here. You're moving on to a new connection. It's a choice and a decision, but it's there. Definitely a choice and a decision. Whoever this person is, this person is going to be like, not like anybody else you met in the past. This person going to have control over their emotions. They're going to be calm. They're going to give you peace. That's for a Virgo that's ready to move on. What else you have for us, Spirit? Yeah. <laughs> there you go. You got the King of Wands here. You and this person may build businesses together. This person is very innovative, very tech savvy. You know, very good with reading the room. Powerful. Good looking, got a whole lot of confidence. There's going to be a union here with the two of cups. It's going to be a deep love, a new relationship. New to you. And you got the queen of cups here. Look, this is going to be definitely full of emotions. You're going to be enjoying yourself. You're going to enjoy this journey. You're going to be able to be yourself. You're going to have some peace in your life and you're going to be able to be yourself. If you're in a situation where you're dealing with conflict and turmoil on the other side of that, man, it's peace and happiness. You just got to have the courage to detach, block, and walk away. It, it's easier said than done, yeah. Don't nobody want to go through the pain. That's why a lot of people stay. But that pain is for the process, for you to never go back that way again, for ne to never accept these things again. Look, somebody contemplating, somebody sick. They chose a cup. Now they, now they, they well them ran dry. Somebody is definitely discontent. This is what happens when you play with fire. You get burned. There's the moon here. Whole lot of illusion. So this person was lying to themselves. The secret's been revealed. You working on manifesting money in a practical way. Working on being responsible. Just know that good things are coming towards you, Virgo. 
once you get toxic people out of your life, if people don't understand, like when you allow toxic people to stay in your energy, whatever karma, oh wait, that they're receiving, you get the residual effects of it because you 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 affiliated with them in some kind of way, shape or form. You gotta be careful who you're attached to. You know, if this person is low down and dirty and they, they ain't right, they talk about the people that help them, they always got something negative to say. If they're telling you that, imagine what they tell people about you. If they carry a bone, they'll bring one. This person is full of conflict. Whoever this person is, is full of conflict. This person repeats cycles over and over again. This person is bound. This person needs to do a whole lot of work. While you moving on to this new love connection with this Ace of Pentacles, Spirit is offering you a new fresh start. It's time to accept the offer, Virgo. And here's the world because that cycle is closed. If you're still holding on to it, whatever that person, whatever karma that person getting, you're going to have to deal with it too. It's easier said than done. But I'm telling you, I promise you that freedom feels so good. Having that peace of mind and actually healing, like going through the process, going through the pain, that's the process. Not running from it. I was always told to go with the, go with the current. Don't fight it, otherwise you're going to drown. Now, I can't swim, but that's what I was always told. You fight the current, you're going to drown. If it's going to happen, don't fight it. Accept it. Go through the process. The pain is a part of it. It's just like birthing a baby. That's a painful experience, but what comes? New life. Same thing with you. If you are birthing this new life, releasing this past energy, it's going to be a part of your birthing process. It not, it's not going to feel good. It's not going to be comfortable. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I understand. So th that, that emotional attachment, that trauma bond, yeah, that spending all that time together, that make up the breakup. Yeah, over a period of time, you get conditioned to accepting that kind of relationship. But Spirit said they have so much more in store for you. Somebody going to love you. Somebody going to cherish you. Somebody is really going to just like, you're going to brighten their day. And they're going to show you. Here's the Queen of Wands here. You got to believe, Virgo. Do you believe in magic? The magic is coming after the birthing process, after the pain. Better right say after the pain. No, no, she was doing some, I'm sorry, that's a, that's a bad example. But she went through. I'm not saying none of that. Don't do that. Release these people. You got the queen of wands that like, you be, you becoming more spiritual. You recognize that peace is your new currency. And you'll pay for it, whatever that means. If it's a temporary painful experience where you have to learn, accept that. Accept it for what it is and keep on moving. Because on the other side of that is, look, emotional fulfillment, total support. Number 10, the recipe is releasing the old to embrace the new. That's why the first card that came out, the oracle card, was adrift. It's time to release. It's time to let it go. Even if it's familiar, even if it seems comfortable, you don't have to live your life in conflict. You don't have to live your life in turmoil. Like, you can have balance and peace and harmony. Work on patience, work on your own triggers, like, work on self control, like, building at this point. Once you do that, you're going to have a turning point of good luck, favor. Spirit is offering you an in, uh, invitation for, di for divine intervention. Are you going to accept it? Are you going to stay? And I'm not telling nobody to leave anybody. I'm just saying, if you're not happy, what are you doing? 
And until you get tired, you're going to keep on going around in the same cycle. Because Spirit said this cycle is closed. The world card is here. You completed this lesson. This lesson. Were you listening? Were you paying attention? You have went around this mountain a couple times. On the other side of this is peace and happiness. Like miracles coming through. Abundance flowing. But it's going to take some work. You got some coming in hot with the eight of wands. What's coming to our Virgo spirit? Strength. Stability. It's coming in hot. Why are these people going to have to watch with the three of wands? All they're going to be able to do is see from a distance. If there's a divine calling on your life and you keep running from it, all you're going to do is delay the inevitable. I'm telling you, spirit will put so much pressure on you. That you don't have no choice but to let it go. Because <laughs> it's, it's, it's really feeling like you're going to be unalived out here. That's how much intensity going to come with it. Let these people go ahead and, and do what they do. Repeat the same cycles. You can't do the work for them. Let them, let them, let them people go ahead and catch them karmic pains and you get out the way. So you can walk into this emotional contentment and this happiness that you deserve and you gotta know that you deserve it you ain't, you ain't doing no jail time this ain't no lifetime sentence it's time to move on give us one more spirit and we're gonna close out that's the middle Let's do it one more time. Let's do it one. Spirit, show us what we need to see. One more. There you go. There you go. So look, you got the Empress here. Yeah, you growing. You growing in love, like you growing in abundance. You growing. Somebody may be pregnant with a physical child over the business. With the Ace of Wands paired afterwards, this is definitely some creativity, some self-discovery. Spirit say, with this Aries energy, it's time to clear a path and have a self-revelation. It's time for new beginnings. We got two Aces out here. We got Ace of Cups, that's emotions, clear. Then we got Ace of Wands, that's creativity, spiritual, clear. Spirit clearing the way. Look, because you done stood up for yourself and made some healthy boundaries. Third party energy. Some some people, it, it could have been like, <clears throat> look at the bottom of the deck. With the six of cups. Definitely past energy. Like, whoever this past person is, whatever it is or was, whatever conflict they're trying to bring to your life don't allow it because we allow things to happen we give people so much control don't allow it release these people and let them go it, it's gonna be a process and it ain't gonna be easy but it's gonna be worth it with everything if it come easy you don't respect it 
you got to work for it, you value it. Spirit said there's a gift waiting. Are you going to receive the new gift? Spirit is giving you a gift of a new beginning to release all this heartache, all this pain, all this dishonesty. You know, it could be a divorce here. All this loss. <laughs> All this depression, whatever heavy energy, energy this is, whatever conflict, turmoil, like whatever that is, whatever that look like, the stress, the exhaustion, the burden, spirit said release that and you definitely going to get this gift. I love y'all. I thank y'all for every like, every share, every comment, every subscribe. It means the world to me. See how that energy changed y'all. Yesterday it was on the up and up, but. That soulmate energy still came through. This past person, the toxic one. Yeah, this person is still going through toxic cycles. This person want to drag you with them. With them. Spirit says it's time to move on to this new beginning. Show us what we need to see, Spirit, when it comes to the law of attraction. Spirit guys, ancestors, we just thank you, thank you, thank you. We thank you for peace. We thank you for protection. We thank you for provisions. We thank you for prosperity. We thank you for allowing abundance and newness to flow in our life. We thank you for balance. We thank you for harmony. We thank you for success. We thank you for wealth. We ask that you grant us the serenity to accept the things that we cannot change, the courage to change the things that we can, and the wisdom to know the difference. Y'all know I keep coming back because y'all keep showing up. And I keep showing up because y'all keep coming back. Y'all know my claim to fame is to get any better, y'all. I don't know what I'm going to do. So let's go ahead and close out with this law of attraction. Spirit guys, ancestors, show Virgo what we need to see. Any placement in the chart? Any cross watcher that resonates? Show us what we need to see, Spirit. We got two. So we got relax. I choose to relax and not fill my mind with worry that creates stress. I'm telling you. Let it go. Release it. That sorrow, that pain, release it. Release these people. Release them. Let them go. Spirit said you're going to have the support that you need. Support says I surround myself with supported people who believe in my dream. It could be just that easy. Go through the birthing process. It's going to be so worth it. All right, Virgo. I love y'all. Thank y'all again for every like, every share, every comment, every subscribe. It means the world to me. You know the universe has your back. You know spirit guides, ancestors, source creator wants the best for you. You just have to know that you deserve it. I love y'all, and I'll see y'all again soon. Take care.